Hello YouTube, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make your nat permanently green. I hope I help and please comment, rate, like and subscribe for this video. Thank you very much. Hello YouTube, um, I'm going to have another tutorial, different kind today. Um, it's going to be how to open your NAT to make sure that you can always get into good games and have a good connection. Okay, so... Um, Basically, I'm just going to show you using my my router and uh, an example game, uh, which is Assassin's Creed Revelations multiplayer. Um, uh, before I did this fix, the NAT was color coded or color coded orange, and um, I would have liked that to be green. It was going green occasionally, but I would like it to stay permanently green. Okay, <coughs> so. First things first, you go to the website where you find the uh, the ports to leave open for the game. So what I've done is um, I've already found them and I've already um, typed them in to my uh, hub. So um, basically, to get in access into your wireless router or modem, type 192.168.0.1 in your address bar. Any uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Oprah, whatever. Um, the password didn't use a name. If you don't know them, it should be written on the back of your hub or modem. Um, and uh, if not, then contact your ISP. So you sign in and then go to advanced settings in your hub. And then you search for port forwarding, I believe. <coughs> or not. <laughs> okay, no, it's not port forwarding, it's port triggering. Yes, port triggering, okay? So go into port triggering, I'll just show you. I went to advanced settings. This is just a Virgin Media Hub in the UK. Um, you go to port triggering. Click that. Um, so you type a rule name, you don't have to, I didn't. Start point, end port, start port, end port are all going to be the same for my situation. Basically, all these are the ports. All these are the ports. These 80, 3074, 7959, 21,200, 443, 13,000, 7,917 are all for Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, you can enable or delete them. Enable or disable them at any time. And you can delete them if you don't need them anymore. So, uh, I've enabled them so that I do get a green net and it does work so you've got it on the um, website if I can just quickly find one for you um, I'll type Assassin's Creed Revelations open port ports <coughs> so this is an example um, can't remember which website I got them. yeah here we go these are the ports that I've got open so it tells you over here UDP so on your in your modem you've got to select it as UDP because doing a different protocol will open a different port and it will not be for the game so UDP these ports TCP these ports and both ports need to be open for this one for example this is just a different this is a specific game so uh, you look up for your game so it might be COD or <laughs> <laughs> no other examples. Um, I don't know what games uh, have a NAT that requires to be open, but yeah. So find it on Google, and then enter them in, enable them, and save and apply. You may have to restart your modem or router. I don't know. It depends on your router. You can name it, as I said. You don't have to. So when you're done with that, what you do is you go back to your advanced settings menu, and you scroll down to DMZ. Okay, so you click on DMZ and you have to make sure that it's enabled and that it's DMZ 0 192.168.0.0. Okay, 0 is the DMZ address of the computer which is connected to your hub or modem. Because my computer is correct, connected directly to the hub that is my uh, DMZ address however it may not be the same if you're using 
well this is a guide to do it on the PC but if you're doing it on your Xbox or PS3 then you'll need to find out your DMZ address of that console which I'm sure you can find by looking at uh, um, <coughs> the logs of the uh, it will be somewhere on your router it will show you um, what what devices are using the uh, maybe Mac filtering yes no no not Mac filtering um, you should find somewhere it will tell you where you, what uh, devices are using it and uh, the it will tell you the uh, DMZ address of that I'm just gonna have a look Is this it no, I, I I don't know. I can't find it. But yeah, just find your DMZ address for your PS3 or Xbox. But if you're connected directly to your modem through your PC, it's got to be zero. Okay. So, you check the tick box and you click apply. And it will work. I can assure you it works. So, um, that will, uh, it, it will work for you, okay? So hopefully, so mine was uh, four, it was four, so I placed it with zero and that's how it worked. I made a note, notepad note of it so I remembered if it went wrong. And if it does turn orange again, or red even, then make sure you've got your firewall settings allowed for the game. Especially with your antivirus, for example, Norton 360 here, settings and then look click on firewall and then just just fiddle with it program rules so if you find assassin's creed anywhere for example like here's assassin's creed make sure you allow it if it's on auto then it may block it but make sure it's definitely on allow if you do have problems um and also make sure if you have windows firewall enabled that you also disable it on that as well okay um <coughs> that is it. Um I have uh nothing else to say. But if it does go orange again, then just go back to your DMZ and make sure that that last digit of your of the I, of the address is correct. Okay? You've got to make sure if your computer's connected directly to your modem wireless router, um make it zero. If it isn't, then check it. Uh, if it's another computer, I'm pretty sure you can type in a CMD prompt, which will uh, it will confirm your DMZ address. Or if it's a PlayStation or Xbox, then search for connected devices to the modem. My modem is a wireless radio and a modem inbuilt together. That's why I keep saying wireless hub. You may have it, you may not have it. It depends what country and what service you have. I've got a bit of a sore throat today, so I'm not going to talk anymore. Um, I hope you found this very useful. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will reply to all comments on videos, and you can send me a request via private message. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.